It is pretty. It is really pretty out. Like, Jesus Christ, it's pretty. It's so pretty, in fact, that I'm cooped up inside. Yeah, I'm not very happy, actually. I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not very happy. I'm completely okay with uh, spending the day trying to get back to editing video and looking up news. I haven't watched Daily Show in like a week. I watched the episode of Survivor that I missed. <laughs> but it's uh, Saturday, like uh, the 10th of April, um, I don't know. 11.30 and uh, maybe almost 12 and the family is gone, 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 gone. I think the grandma's actually like taking a shower downstairs and the dad might be home because he's working in his office with the door closed and I don't really want to interrupt him even if I did have a question for him. So I don't know where the brother is and I'm pretty sure the sister's at a friend's house and uh, if she's not, she's then with the mom and the mom's with her sister uh, out at some like thing. I don't know. I was trying to pay attention, I, and I was paying attention, and I know that they were gone, and I knew that they were leaving, but I didn't ask them if I could go anywhere, because I couldn't, I, I, she only told me, she told me that they were leaving at like 9 o'clock in the morning, still feeling a little sick, really hard for me to pay attention, and uh, she tells me uh, that, that she was going, and I didn't remember if I, if I heard that she was going to be taking me or not, like if I had been invited, and that, so I didn't want to say, Oh, well, can I go somewhere else? Because I thought that'd be really rude. I'm like, hey, if you're going somewhere, I'll go. If you're inviting me, I have no problem with that. I mean, I don't really even have a plan for today. But I don't know where I'd be going even if I wanted to go. I just don't want to be in the house. So uh, the unfortunate realization that came to was that um, since I had to wait to see if they were going to be taking me or not, um, I was going to have to ask them if I could go when they were leaving. But I didn't, I, I still wasn't catching on to if I was coming or not until they already were gone. Like, I was seriously... I was that I was that dull for for easily about 20 minutes. I was like, oh fuck, do I ask? What do I say? Do I do anything? Uh, I'm not really catching on here, <laughs> but whatever. They've been gone. I don't know if they get back soon or if they get back way later. So I'm thinking I may have to make a call if I can't like get a hold of the dad if he is downstairs. I might have, I might have to make a call to see if I can leave because I am not gonna stay inside this house on a fucking beautiful day when I actually don't feel that sick. Yesterday was hell. He said, sucked so much. But uh, today I'm feeling okay. I'm aware that I'm sick, but I don't feel sick, and that's about all that matters. So, what I can do though, uh, I can do one productive thing. I was given a kind of tentative yes to do a quick tour of the house. Don't feel too comfortable doing it, but uh, but no, it's interesting. It's 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 so, I, and I think it's worth uh, worth the time I put into. So I'm gonna record upstairs, not downstairs. Downstairs is the dad's office, bathroom. Uh, kind of the uh, opening area to the front door and uh, where the all the shoes are and then the grandma's bedroom I'll skip that I might I might get to it a different day today. I'm only going to do uh, upstairs So that's the upstairs door It's the upstairs door that leads into the living room area and the bedrooms uh, follow this way Get to my bedroom it's sort of dirty. I already showed you guys around here before, sort of. Uh, anything that I really need in here, I can get. I mean, I got the two power outlets. I got my little desk thing over here. I got my little cupboard thing over there. And holy crap, it's really hot in here. Um, been trying to make my bed every day. Uh, I forgot about it yesterday. Uh, Cause I, well, I didn't really forget. I was just too sick to care. And then today, uh, I, I don't know, I might do it before I leave, but I've tried to make a habit of doing it just so I can get kind of a pattern down in the morning. So I do the same thing, so I don't have to worry about skipping anything uh, today. Whatever, I, I can, I can, I can go one day without making my bed, especially on a day that's this pretty. So uh, there's my bed, my bedroom. Uh, oops. Now there's a room right next door, uh, little sister's room. I'm not gonna record inside. You can just assume it's right there. <laughs> little over the door's open right now. That's kind of half the problem. So, uh, but yeah, it's right, right in there. Uh, this leads to the living room, family room thing. Uh, they got the uh, couch facing this way towards the kitchen. They got a projecting screen and the projector up here. Projectors plugged in all the way over this electronic hub they got here. Uh, DVD player, fax machine, computer, uh, satellite cable thing, and then the uh, uh, their, their modem 
all in like one really super convenient spot. Uh, they don't really have a desk chair or anything. Uh, rarely do they even use the computer. And when they do, it's probably only for a short while. Check an email or something. No one really plays any games. There's like no game consoles here. Which kind of shocked me, but whatever. And I got, I mean, it wouldn't shock me too much, but they got younger kids. Just kind of assume something might be available. Nope. And when they do watch TV, it's, uh, it's usually just the dad. It's usually the dad watching Korean dramas. Seriously, I shit you not. <laughs> that or maybe like, uh, what, was it? what did I say that one day? Countdown TV? Yeah, some J-pop and stuff. So, um, or maybe the sister over the weekend, like morning cartoons. That's about it though. Uh, other than that, we got the kitchen, uh, kitchen dining room area, uh, a bunch of chairs. I usually sit here. Uh, sister usually sits here. Mom and dad sit there. Brother sits there. Grandma sits there. Pretty sure, yeah. And then I've been trying to help out. I've been trying to help out with with uh, with uh, all the meals, at least kind of setting the table. Because I mean, that way I don't <sighs> I feel so rude when I'm just kind of watching and I'm not helping. And I don't know if I'm supposed to ask to help. I don't know. Like if I don't see other people helping, am I not supposed to help? Or does the mom really want help but she doesn't say, just doesn't say anything? And then when I do help and then no one else is helping, I'm wondering, oh shit, are, are, are they mad at me for helping? Because now they're going to be guilted into helping too and they don't want to. I don't know, but who cares? I'm at least trying to set, help set the table. And uh, the brother uh, made food last night because the mom was, uh, uh, she's at some class or something learning English. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that she did. I knew her English was sort of good, but you're not, but... That's fine. So, uh, anyways, this is the kitchen area. Uh, I'm wondering if I should open up the. Yeah, why not? Okay, so uh, refrigerator. Um, we always drink water every meal, sometimes tea, but always water. Uh, no milk. I don't actually see any milk. No, that's not milk. Is that milk? Oh, that's milk. Never mind. I've never had any. <laughs> I don't see a whole lot of coffee in here. No, uh, I've never seen anyone really drink coffee. Um, I'm trying to see what else is in here. We have a lot of leftovers. Lots of leftovers. Oh, here's a not though. Seriously, I don't know why. I've never had it. Never had it. Uh, my little sister had it one night, and uh, whatever. It didn't smell that bad. I don't know what everyone's saying. <laughs> so. Um, there's that, uh, there's kind of refrigerator like a bunch of other levels, but who cares. Um, rice cooker. Hot something, I forgot what's in there. Water, tea, something. Um, stove, really small. Dishwasher, they got dishwasher? I don't know if they do, I don't know what this is. Oh no, this, oh, what the hell? Uh, so that's an oven, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a super small oven, what the fuck? Ah, all right. All right, and I think that's everything up here, right? Got the kitchen, oh yeah, the piano. Little sister plays piano. Um, uh, she's pretty good at it, actually. She keeps playing the, uh, this is the Iki Monokatari song from like, months ago. That. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, brother's room is this way, but again, I'm not gonna record into it. Who cares? And this is, this is not HGTV, I'm just trying to make it a very truncated explanation of where I'm living. Um, this is the sink that I use to brush my teeth, shave, and everything. I don't know what the pink thing's for. Um, I have no clue what that pink thing's for. Uh, here's all my stuff. Here's the contact solution. I bet that one day. Um, I really like the packaging. <laughs> I mean, it's not anything different, but I, if I had to pick between that and when I use it at home, I'd get that just because the packaging is so cool. Um, yeah, whatever. It's small, convenient, I have no problem with it. And then of course the last thing on the tour is the toilet area upstairs. I love, I love, I love this little, what do they call it, a toilet room? Whatever, that's the bathroom upstairs. So, and I love these, this little smell thing. Oh, it smells so damn good. And of course, uh, if you need to, just go to Google. Uh, yes, Japanese toilets are fucking amazing, and that's not an exaggeration. If you, if you see anyone totally say that they're the coolest things in the world, they are absolutely truthful. Uh, <laughs> they are the coolest things in the world. The seats are heated. And that's cool. <laughs> uh, so, I think that that's everything. Uh, yeah, I think that that's absolutely everything. Uh, oh, I forgot one last thing. This is the bedroom. This is where the parents sleep. It's weird. Like, they don't even cut it off at all. 
I'm really liking the, uh, the oh, wow, losing my train of thought. I'm really liking how it looks outside. So the sooner I get out, the better. I'm gonna have to call the mom, see if the dad's downstairs, do whatever I need to get outside. And when I get outside, I have no clue what I'll be doing. I'll be just walking around, maybe walking to a place. Whatever I'm doing, I hope it's fun. See you guys later.